WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN Mid-Morning, up, Mid-Afternoon Update. From the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, zip code 19447, telephone number 215-555-5555. Anyway, let's take a look here at the markets. Uh, we're having a little bit of a reprieve bounce here. Uh, this is known as a DCB in uh, technical terms, which means a dead cat bounce. Nothing against cats. Sometimes it's dogs. Don't want to get anybody in the woke environment upset with me today, but it is a bounce. It's very, very mild so far. Um, anyone thinks that that's the bottom uh, was in yesterday, uh, came in last night at uh, 4365. That was down near a big ABCD pattern, so we are getting a little bit of a rally here. This thing might last two or three days. Uh, we've got some big cycles come up. Remember, folks, on Saturday we have the autumn, equ autumn equinox. That's one of the more famous dates in all of uh, uh, astrological land, and also uh, people from uh, that like to watch, uh, you know, ancient aliens and stuff like that. So Stonehenge and uh, many of these other like the pyramids, and it's actually Waman and uh, Machu Picchu all have things that are related to the autumn equinox. I've mentioned before. The uh, uh, pyramid in Mexico, in Chichen Itza, that has the uh, autumn equinox when it hits, it puts a snake down the shadows, down the stairs of the pyramid. But it's it's really cool. But anyway, that's hard to believe any of that stuff. But anyway, that's what we're looking at. So we've got some really strong cycle stuff coming in here. The overall picture of the market is really not about the stock market, folks. It's about the bond market. That's where the problem is. The problem is not in the stocks. The problem is in the bonds. Stocks will be a byproduct of it. We've been borrowing money for so doggone long, and finally the fat lady has said, I think I've had enough. If they start moving the U.S. dollar down and we have to raise money by paying interest on these higher interest rate bonds and stuff, it's not going to happen. So the only thing that you can do is to hyperinflate and cause a hyperinflation to get the cost of these bonds down to virtually worthless thing and you buy them back worthless and that's the way it goes but boy you don't want to go through that folks unfortunately that's the way it's looking but it isn't there yet we're going to take a break here jeff huge is our guest alpha insights at uh, 1 so stay tuned 